Good morning, it's Monday, and this is my stay home and do nothing day. Yay, I don't have to work in my classroom anymore. <laughs> I am gonna keep working on the computer and doing things here and there. Making lists because it makes me happy and makes me feel like I'm doing something. I'll probably catch up on some YouTube videos because I'm sorely behind on lots of people. And I'll probably clean out some stuff. I'm planning on cleaning out this little guy to see what I find. These little dudes have not been gone through for hmm, probably about two years. So it's probably time. I'm sure I have lots of stuff that needs to come out of there. I just attached these with clear tape, just cheap old transparent tape, not invisible tape. I hate that stuff. It doesn't stick to anything, <laughs> but the cheap old 97 cent transparent tape from Walmart. I just made a tape roll, a tape roll, a tape roll. It sticks great to lamination and plastic. Just stick it in there. And that way it's not on the outside where it can get dirty and gross. It shouldn't be messed with because you're going to open it this way and then pull the stuff out. And it looks really nice. You can't even see it. So I think those turned out really nice. You can see I still have my pile back here of stuff that needs to be taken to my classroom or put somewhere else. Some of that is from my Luau. And those are my teacher manuals and student workbooks from the new math series so I can kind of study those. These are all those bins I brought home. They're slowly dwindling though, because I have taken several to my classroom and I'm going to take one, two, three more for sure. And I might take more. If I keep thinking, I'll probably keep finding ideas, of things I can do with these. So yeah, after cleaning out my classroom and seeing the huge difference the open space makes and less clutter, the more I want to hide things away inside other things so it doesn't look so messy. Mm-hmm. That is my goal. Maybe I can put some of these in my closet too because there are some things I think I still want to take out of my closet and like donate because I don't know that I'll use them. I need to just be ruthless. Not crazy like, oh, get rid of stuff I will use. But I think I need to be realistic and be like, am I ever going to use all this? Yeah. So that will be my next step, but not today because today is PJ's. PJs and Snuggle Kitty and I haven't watched any Netflix but I've been watching YouTube so I'm catching up on some people and I'm actually going back and watching Pocketful of Primary's older videos when she was in second grade. I have watched all of her videos over the years because I started following her right away when she first started making videos but it's been a couple years ago now and I've forgotten a lot of stuff and now that I'm going into second grade I think I can get some great ideas from her. So that is one thing that I'm doing is watching her and also trying to find more second grade teachers and uh, just teachers in general to watch because I love connecting with everyone out there. All right, I will catch you later. Looky here, didn't this turn out great? These are gonna be perfect. And I just put a tape roll. I just used this tape here, just like I did on here. I put it on, I put one roll, whoop, put one roll on this side and one roll on this side on the back. And that way I can change them out because I think that'll be good. Yeah, I like them. I think they're gonna look really cute out there. If you are interested in these for your own classroom or home, I have put these in my TPT store. There are some pre-made and there's also an editable version so that you can make them whatever you want. So the link is below and they're only a dollar. I have also made more labels for my little math manipulatives bins that are in my cabinets because I didn't have enough of them when I was there last time. So I kind of went back to the video honestly and looked at what was missing and I made extra ones. Plus I made the ones I needed. So I have extra game ones. And I made ones for these. I made these to go on the top of the peanut jar lids in case the lid got separated from the actual jar then we'd know what went where. But I think those will look really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch now. I've got some leftover chicken alfredo, a rosemary garlic parmesan biscuit, and some pocket full of primary. All of this was what I pulled out of these. Crazy, because I'm not going to need those papers this year and I can print them later if I do need them. We are headed to the post office to drop off 
new package because Caitlin sold something else on Poshmark. So we're headed into town and got the little bug in the little container here. She's asleep. And we'll probably stop by McDonald's and get a beverage on the way home. And this is our big outing for the day. Woo! Go summer! Well, we successfully made it to the post office. Caitlin is jinga jinging in there. And I don't know if you can see her, but I'll try to give you a little peek at this peek. She's just a little furry sleeping lump right now. She's so cute. She can be quite loud though, too. She's only about this big, but she is this big when she makes herself known. She lets you know when she's hungry. Mm-hmm. As all babies do. After this, I'm breaking down and getting a Coke. I haven't had one for about a while, actually. I can't remember the last time I got one. Oh, here comes Caitlin. Good. I'm going to head to McDonald's on the way home and then go back home and potato some more. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It is a gross rainy day here in central Missouri. Look at all that rain. It's so dark and gloomy out there. But I have taken advantage of being home and I've been prepping things. So it's another teacher prep Tuesday. That's what I'm working on. In my opinion, it's never too early to be thinking about the first day of school. Yeah, it doesn't mean you have to do anything about it. But these are little cute tags that you print on cardstock. And then I, I don't laminate these because the kids just take them home. But you stick a straw on the back and it's really cute for like jitter juice, which I like to do every year. So there's the different ones. And it's a freebie. Then I've been printing Toothy Task Cards. And if you don't know about Toothy, I think it's really cool. It's made by Angie Olson from Lucky Little Learners. And I'll put links to all of these things down below in the description box so you can check them out if you want to. I would suggest that you wait till these are on sale because she does lots of sales periodically. So just put them in your wish list and then get them when they're on sale. So look at all these that I'm making. It's amazing. Look at that. Story problems. Plus and minus. Two digit addition without regrouping. Two digit addition with regrouping. And then I've done two digit subtraction as well. Look at that noise so I'm getting my first like half of the year for my games rotation in my guided math groupings ready so this will be I'm gonna make it like toothy Tuesday or something where they know that's what the game is going to be something like that and 
when I get these put together, I will show you because I have used my Astro Brights. If you can see over there, I've kind of brought all my office stuff up here. See all the junk on the floor? Okay, that's from the cats. Those are all of the like containers or paper wraps that came around my Astro Brights. I did have them all in this tub here, but then I was having to shuffle through them every time I wanted to grab like seven pieces of paper to print one set of these task cards. I'm like, well, forget that. I have a jillion of these little containers downstairs, so I just put them in there like I had them in my classroom. That way I can just grab the ones I need. And I've got my laminator heated. Oh, it's ready to go. And I have another box of lamination film over here on the couch. I have all my little task card units here, all printed and ready to go. And you can even get like a checklist, you know which ones you've done. Comes in the bundle. Look at that. And look at all these. Oh, lightning. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. Yes. And I heard a beep earlier. I'm like, uh-oh, I think something got zapped. I don't know. And then I thought I smelled like an electronic smell. Maybe it was my imagination. I don't know, but I swear. I had Caitlin come in and smell. She's like, I don't smell anything. I think you're imagining things. I'm like, I hope so. I showed you these the other day. So I haven't cut them out yet because round things are much harder to cut than square things because you can't use your paper cutter. I do have like photo cutters from Creative Memories when I used to do scrapbooking. So I might have one that fits this. I might try that. I don't know. I'll probably just use my scissors. My scissors are good and I can just sit and watch movies. That's what I'm up to this morning. I'm gonna be laminating these and then cutting them up and putting them in my boxes and I'll show you when I get done. Look what else I found. So there's a lovely lady called Creative Teaching in First and she's on Instagram and TPT and she had a freebie. So I found this one first, the lost and found. I'm like, yes, I have a lost and found little container in my classroom, but it isn't labeled. So I'm going to label one of my numerous bins that I have just laying dormant right now. That'll be perfect. And that way kids don't go, I found this on the floor. I found this. I found this. You're like, go put it in the lost and found bin, please. And then you can go through it periodically and figure out where they belong or get rid of it. Then you don't have a drawer full of things in your desk at the end of the year and go, oh, where is all this stuff from? Also, she had this as a freebie. Take a look at our new books. You know, when you get brand new books in from like your scholastic order, and you're like, oh, I don't have time to label them yet. You could just put your name on them and then kind of display them with this little bin. And that way kids are more interested in reading things. All right, I'm still living in lamination land here. My needing to be laminated pile is still quite larger than my already laminated pile. I went through half a box of these. So I've gone through one stack of these. So that's 100. Plus I had a few left from the other thing. So I probably laminated 120 things. Yeah, that's a lot. I think that I, after I get these laminated, which will take probably a good 20 minutes. <laughs> I think when I get done with this stack here, I will go downstairs and just relax for a while and not do any cutting. Cause I think I'll have a big cutting marathon later. I think that'll be my plan. I'm happy to report that I think that my done pile is getting bigger than my not done pile. Yay, I've just been working, working, working. But I've been working on this laminating stuff from start to finish for about an hour. I'm also re-watching some of Michelle's from Pocket Full of Primary's older videos from when she was in second grade. I am watching her videos about Daily Five because I used to do Daily Five back in the day and I might kind of do something like that format again, possibly, I don't know. We have gone to a reader's workshop model in our school. And so, I don't know, it may depend on that because the kids are basically, we're kind of being told they're supposed to read like all the time. And really that's not feasible. I would get bored if I was told I could only read during like small group time. So I may need to do a little tweaking there possibly, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm getting, making some progress. As I'm laminating, in between putting sheets through the laminator, I am hole punching these little activity cards that go with the stem bins. So I've got several done. See, they're all in a ring there. But I didn't have my regular hole puncher. It must be at school. So I don't know if you can tell how much smaller this one is. It makes a tiny little hole. I'll punch one and show you. So I wasn't sure. 
see how small that is. I wasn't sure that was gonna work. It works perfectly, I'm so happy. So I just punch the top one and then I use it as a template to punch the next ones so that they are in the same place because it drives me crazy. When you have a set of cards and try to put them on a ring and they're all like, all crazy like this, like all over the place instead of all together like they should be. So that's what I've been doing and I'll show you what it looks like when you put on the ring. Okay, I brought this bag of rings home from my classroom so I could use them for these awesome cards. So I'm just gonna stack them up so that the hole is all the way in the same place on all of them. I'm just using the tiny ones. I think these might be half inch. I'm not really sure. I think they're about the smallest ones you can get. And so I'm just gonna hook it through the back of the hole here and feed it through the front. See how that little tiny hole just works fine. And then you have a little ring. And these will hang on a magnetic hook. I think I'm gonna stick these inside the bins. I'm gonna put the magnetic hooks around the top of that rolly cart thing that I have in my room that has the rainbow bins in it right now. And then I can just hang these off of there and the kids can just grab one off and go have some fun with a partner creating things that are on the cards. Pretty cool. This is a lovely sight to behold. Two empty Ziploc bags because all of those activity cards for STEM are done. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Yay. So, in, whoa. in my opinion, the hard part is done. The most time consuming part. Now the fun part. So I have two or three possibly boxes of these little dudes. Now I just need to take this, I love these things, into my classroom and the boxes and just organize them, sweet. So I can put all the little manipulatives inside the boxes. Yay, I'll show you that when I do it too, yay. And look at this pile. Okay, I'm ready to put another one in. We're whittling away at this. Okay, check this out. This is laminated. This is waiting to be laminated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh, I've been working on this for like three hours. I said 20 minutes, I was on crack or something. What was I thinking? No 20 minutes, goodness. But while I was working on laminating, I was getting these done too, so yay. Multitasking for the win, woo! Alrighty, so feeling accomplished right now. There's like little pieces of the little cutouts of this just kind of laying around, I need to vacuum. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost out of these rings. I have some bigger ones in my classroom. I wanted to try to use the small ones because I like to use the big ones for like my math games and strategy games so I can hook all the same type together because I use those plastic sleeve page protectors. Alrighty, so woohoo, look at that. I can check those things off. Yes, so excited. And I cleaned up the mess left behind from taking the paper out of those packages. So that's nice. Okay, I'm so, so happy this is almost done because it is like seriously quarter to one and I think I started on this like at, I don't know, eight. Ugh. Yeah. Well, part of that was printing though. I had to print all of this stuff and I had to figure out which ones I wanted. What I did with these toothy task cards, let me just tell you a little bit about them. Okay, so they're by Lucky Little Learners. It's Angie Olson and she has bundles that you can get in her TPT store, but you can also get them individually. And like right now they're on sale. Like there's a flash sale going on, which I don't know if they'll still be on by the time you see this. So I apologize in advance if it's not on sale still, it may not be. Generally the bundles are $20, but on her sales they're usually 10. So I snagged mine on the last flash sale. I got the grammar bundle, the phonics bundle, and the math bundle. Now she has kindergarten, first, second, and third grade available for those kind of things. So you might want to check it out. Here's the gist. So this is the little label and I'll show you what those go in in just a minute. So here's one of the cards. So these are, oh, number words. Yeah. So the kids have a little face and like a little face work mat and you give them a dry erase marker. And you can put the little face and you can laminate them. You can put them in plastic sleeves. You can put them in those little envelope things that are clear that you can write on a dry erase. So lots of ways you can do it. Or you can even just give them a piece of paper and let them draw it with a marker, whatever. 
Okay, so you cut these up, obviously, into cards. And they're self-checking because the answers are on the back. So the kids look at that and go, what is the number word? And they have to read it, and then they write the answer down. After they write the answer down, they flip it over and check it. If they get it right, they get to put a tooth in the little mouth. And at the end of time, whatever that is, when they finish all the cards or when you say time's up, count up your teeth, whoever has the most teeth in their little person's mouth is the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So super cool. I think my kids will really like this. Let me throw another one of these jobs in. I might finish this while I'm talking to you. I'm so excited. Okay, like I said, I'm not cutting these right now. I just, oh. I've had to stand up and put it in the laminator every time because I can't get it close enough because the cord doesn't reach. <laughs> so yeah, I'm like a slinky today. Anyway, so they're pretty cool. And like, there's like every skill imaginable in there. It's amazing. What I did was, and I'll even try to show you my little, okay, here's my, whoop, my computer screen here. My second grade, all my second grade stuff I've been putting in a second grade file. So down here, here's Toofy. See, I, I have the grammar, have the math, I have the phonics. Oh, you can get free ones too. If you go on her Facebook page, you can get links to her free Toofy activities. And also if you go on her website, little learners, luckylittlelearners.com, sorry, luckylittlelearners.com, go on there and you can get freebies. All right, so here's the math one. Here's what I've done. I've organized each one. I've pulled them into a folder that goes along with my Go Math chapters. So then when I'm working on that chapter, I know I can use those toothy cards for my math rotations for the game section. So, ha, yeah, smart, huh, hmm, yeah. Try to get myself organized, oh yeah. All right, oh, I'm so happy to be closing in on this. Oh my gosh, I've been laminating all day. Whew. Been taking care of little squink here. And I had to make a new cup of tea because it was sitting here on the floor like this. And with me moving around so much, I covered it in cat hair. Ugh. I love my cats. I don't love eating their cat hair. So no, I dumped that out and made a fresh cup. I'm sure it's cold now. You know, it's, it's the same as when I'm in my classroom. Cold, everything. Like it starts out warm and it sits and I have to microwave it a bajillion times. Anyway, yeah. So in these bundles, you get the container labels, which I just showed you a minute ago. Oh yes, this one container labels okay and I'll show you where those go in just a minute and then you get like there's all kinds of neat stuff here's here's an example of one of the toothy mats because I just think these are gonna be really cool so let me see if I can do this okay so there's the girl there's different ones though so here's different options and then you can even give them you can let them color those and then laminate them for later and they can have the same mat all the time see and there's also ones that are colored which I will probably print I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do the toothy mats, to be honest. And the cool thing is, if the kids get tired of the normal just kid toothy mats, she has themed ones also. She has, like, animals and seasons and stuff in her store. So that's probably something I'll grab later, like, during the TPT sale when they're super cheap. I'll probably get them then. Oh, look at the lamination pile dwindling. It's so exciting. Yeah, it's the little things, friends. It's the little things that keep me going. Okay. So anyway, there's your toothy mats. And then, let me show you what else that came on this bundle. Checklists, like this. Look at that. So you can see which ones you've done. And I actually forgot to check all these off because I actually did all of these two digit ones. Because I went all the way through chapter five in second grade go math. So some of them I didn't print at all because I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna wait and see if my kids even need those skills because they were first grade skills. Like I. I think I did missing add-ins, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look at my pile. Maybe I didn't. But, um, so here, I, I kind of started with chapter one is number sense. It's not called number sense, but it's number sense. Um, so I did like number words. Um, what else was in that? Even and odd. And we even have a report card test on that. So I thought that'd be good. Big time story problem. So yeah, fact families, I had an, there's an addition chapter and a subtraction chapter. So I wanted to work on that. Basic facts, I think it's called. Actually, I think that's in one chapter. Basic facts, I think, is all in one addition and subtraction because it's review from first grade. It should be. All right. Oh, more laminating. Really is so excited. If you do not have a home laminator, what the heck are you waiting for? This is gold, people, gold. This is an older one. Okay, this is like one of the, I don't know, it's not one of the first ones probably because I got on the lamination bandwagon kind of late, I thought. So, yeah, at first I kind of thought people were a little 
wackadoo for having their own laminator because, hey, why don't you just laminate school? Because the school lamination is crud, people. It's crud. It peels, it's thin, it's nasty, it wrinkles, it's gross. I only use that for like anchor charts because this is obviously not big enough for a poster size anchor chart and posters and stuff. And like desk tags, like large things. I laminate everything else at home because for one thing, it's so much sturdier. Look at the thickness. Can you do that with your school lamination? Mine's bendy, I don't know about yours. Maybe you have better lamination. We have super cheap, cruddy lamination. But for, for other things that aren't gonna be used over and over and over again, like my birthday book covers, I do use the school lamination for that. As a matter of fact, I have already left the covers for second grade for the librarian. Oh yes, before I left on Friday last week, on my last day of working at school all day, I printed them out and left them for her with a note. So yay. So whenever she's popping in and out, cause she does YMCA and just basic stuff. And she's, um, I wanna say she's like an 11 month employee. So she'll be in before the rest of the teachers. So she can work on that. Okay, and then, Look at all their, there's the grammar checklist, the phonics checklist, okay, and then there's kindergarten skills. See, look at that. So all the way from K through three, K through grade three is appropriate for these toothy things. You can even do it as a scoot activity. Look at that. I was thinking that'd be a great like review before a test. Just lay the cards out around your room and have the kids scoot through the activities. If you do not know what scoot is, it's super easy. Basically, you have like little task cards or even sheets of paper laying around on different surfaces in your room and they're numbered or lettered, whatever. And the kids have this recording sheet of whatever kind you're using and they just go around one at a time. Each kid has their own little section to go to. They just walk around the room and they write the answers to everything on this and they turn this in. How easy is that? And it's movement, you can give them clipboards. I don't know what it is about clipboards and kids, but you put anything on a clipboard and they're like, yeah, clipboards. So, I mean, you could give them, I don't know. If you could teach them how to clean the toilet using a clipboard, they would probably be jumping all over that too. <laughs> it's that easy. Oh, look at this, I'm so happy. I can't even tell you. We're down to the last two. Oh, rejoice with me, people, rejoice with me. You feel my joy, I can tell. I can tell you're feeling it. Okay, let me see what else there might be to show you on this lovely thing. Oh, and then there's a cover. Okay, and since I've been teasing you this whole time about this, I need to print that actually. All right, my friends, do you hear the angels singing? Can we all just take a moment to bask in the glory of the final lamination? It's beautiful. Ha ha ha. So excited. Okay, the moment you've been waiting for. Okay, so here's my label. And you can use these awesome, these are like photo storage keeper things. You can get them at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Wait for them to go on sale because they're like $40 normally. That's insane. Hobby Lobby usually has them for like $34.99. You can use your 40% off coupon. Um, Michael's usually throws a really awesome sale. Like I think right now they're like $15.99 or something and you get 16 little containers like this. See, these are perfect for this. And what I'm going to do is for this particular one, since there are two different sets of cards for this one, there's a two digit number and a three digit number for place value. I'm going to put them both in here and boom, differentiation, baby. Look how perfectly they fit in these little snacky bags. These I just got at Walmart. Here's what they are, they look like this. Now they might look different now because I've had these for a while, but they're little portion pack bags or snack bags, I might call them that. They're perfect to fit in here. Look at that. Nice, you can just fold them over. I'm gonna probably make a label that says set one and set two or something. But look, they fit in there perfectly. I just taped the label on, I just put two tape rolls with just cheapy, not invisible tape, but transparent tape from Walmart. Okay, and then you can put all of your little cards in here, like a so, and you can have them all together. Now I'm gonna try to put several different sets of cards in each box so that I can make more, make my boxes go farther, so that I can get more bang for my book in my boxes. I don't wanna have just one set of cards in each box. If it's the same skill, it's going to go in the same box, and it will be, 
already differentiated. How awesome is that? Now these come in clear and you can see over here a little peek. I also found a rainbow set. That's actually my favorite because I love colors, but I think I'm going to use these for the grammar ones because there are more, I think there are more of the math ones than there are of the grammar and phonics. So I think I might use like one set for grammar and one set for phonics. And this is my ELA box. And then these will be my math boxes. I have three sets of these things. I have one rainbow set. And then I have two of the clear. One here and one here. Oh my gosh, I have three. Oh, look at that. I have more than I thought. Because huh. I ordered these. Yeah, you can order online. Except Michael seems to always be out of these online. What's up with that? You know you're going to put them on sale. You know people love them. Get a crap ton of them, please. Anyway. So yeah, surprise. I had three of them. Okay, so I'm set. I think I'll be good. Yeah, for sure. So that'll kind of help me just visually see, oh, those are the ELA and these are the math because, you know, clear and not clear. There you go. But also, since I printed everything on Astro Brights, how pretty is that going to be? Just kind of looking through these little boxes. I mean, that's going to be cute, right? And there'll be purple ones and pink ones and yellow ones and orange ones. Yeah, and some blue ones. I didn't bring my blue paper home. You can see there's the bottom does not have blue. I'll bring those that home next time. But these are going to be awesome. And it comes with four little labels on each one. So you can make different amounts of each one. I just kind of figured since I'm going to do them for rotations that only one set of kids would be using one of the boxes at a time. One of these little boxes. So probably one set of cards would be fine. I think I cracked this one. That's not good. Well, they're very strong anyway. I pr probably dropped it or something. Okay, so yay. Needing to be laminated, pile gone. Oh, I was gonna say, another another storage option you might have if you don't wanna get these, because I can understand, it's, it's an investment. Um, you can use these little latch boxes from Dollar Tree. The little cards fit perfectly in here too. I checked them. I'll even show you. So you could even just have a set of whatever you want the kids to work on. Where's the latch? Yeah, okay, here we go. Let's see, they're gonna fit. They'll fit perfectly in there. You wouldn't even have to have a bag, of course, if you put it in the box, but look, they fit perfectly in here. You could even just print like an Avery label of what it is on top. Boom, done. And you could store these in a drawer or on a shelf. That'd be fine too, that'd be cool. Kids take, you know, however many to their seat. Awesome. I was hoping they'd fit in here, but they don't. They're too tall and they're too wide. You can only put one in there. So these little bags are going to work great. But yeah, for extra ones, like if you had extra sets of these or whatever, wouldn't that be great? Yeah, I think you could probably do four sets of cards in each of these. Oh yeah, look at that. You could totally do four sets of cards. So I figure I'll just make one set of each kind. And if I see that, oh, I need more of these because more kids need to work on this skill more, like I need to have extra sets, then I'll make them then. But like right now, I'm just gonna make one set of everything and call it good. Yep. So well, there you go. Teacher prep Tuesday complete. Tomorrow will probably be cutting till I drop Wednesday <laughs> because that is a large pile of lamination, friends. I'm not sure you can fully appreciate that. This was the label that came off of this box. Okay, here's a label for these. Came from Hobby Lobby. I did not pay $34.99. That would be insanity. I got my 40% off. And plus, I think they're on sale that day. Um, you can get these on Amazon also. I don't think it's quite as good a deal on Amazon if you if you can get it from Hobby Lobby or Michael's on sale. It's probably a better deal. But if you're desperate and you really need them, Amazon is not too bad for a price and they'll ship them right to your house and it's kind of handy. So that's an option too. Okay, can we just look at this giant pile of lamination? <laughs> uh, can you appreciate, like there's like 100 pieces of lamination here. It's crazy. Okay, so thankfully I have my good cutter at home because I brought it from school. Otherwise, I'd be like, nope, not going to do it. All right, I think I'm going to call it a day and just go veg on the couch downstairs in my family room. I'm just going to go potato and just not be uh, upset about not doing anything else today because this took forever. I'm not going to lie. This will take a while. I would suggest you print on one day and laminate on another day and cut on another day because... It took forever. Yeah, it took hours and hours. But you know, summer is the time to do this kind of stuff because who has the energy or the time when you're actually in school? Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got the energy for that. Not this girl, that's for sure. So while I'm still in like 
ooh, organization, ooh, prep, everything mode. Before that fizzles out, I'm gonna work it until I have nothing left to give. Yeah. Alrighty. Look at all my stuff that's prepped, ready for school. So excited. I can check things off my list and I love to do that. Oh, something else I was gonna show you, I forgot. Let me move my stuff here. Move over bacon. Caitlin went through her bookshelf and found, I don't know if you can see all of these books in here. Let's just do that. She found all of these books. Can you see? Let me see if I can get you a side view. Well, good grief. It's harder than it looks, apparently. Look at all these chapter books she found. She's like, oh, mom, I found these books on my bookshelf. I totally forgot about it. Do you want them? I'm like, uh, yes, please. Because our family is a book family. My husband, not so much. He's never really been a big reader, but I have always been an avid, voracious reader. That's how I learned my vocabulary. The best was reading books. So I always would get her the coolest little sets of books when they came out in Scholastic. I would just add them onto my class book order. And then I would get points for stuff I was buying for my kid. I mean, how can you beat that? Then you get free books. So yeah, I would get like the sets of Candy Apple. I think she might have all of them. I don't know, they may have made more since she was in that grade. I think this was like third grade when she got these. Second or third grade. These are kind of funny. I thought some of my higher readers would probably enjoy these. Yeah, so I need to go on arbookfind.com and see what the, the level is for these. And I have dot stickers here at home that I can, whoop, smush in that one. I can label these with, and uh, I'm going to put these in their own little section because only certain kids will be able to read these. They have to be responsible kids since these are my personal books from my daughter but yeah she was like hey mom you can have these I'm like so sweet we found a few that we're not sure about so i thought i'd just take them and look at them and maybe have some people check them out at school and go do you know anything about this one hey what do you think of that because they might be not inappropriate content as far as just yucky or something but might be too high a level like they won't have any background knowledge and it won't really pertain to their lives you know like it's stuff in middle school and stuff like that so we'll just have to see but oh, these beautiful books and she's like K Caitlin said hey mom these are like brand new they look brand new I said I know because you took care of your books because I taught you well girl and you love books as much as I do and she said yes I do so another thing I'm going to be doing to find books is checking out Goodwill because there is one in the city that's 30 miles away from here and that that's where the Hobby Lobby is and the five below and um, a nice Dollar Tree and a few other places that Caitlin and I like to go to sometimes. So I'll probably be going there sometime. And then the Michaels that we have around here is about an hour away from here. But if I go to the city that's 30 minutes from here, then it's, you know, another half hour. So I'm already halfway there. I might go there too. So we'll just have to see what the week has in store. I have some big plans. So we'll see if they come to fruition. Plus I will be filming my next shopping trip collab with Marielli from Pencils and Magic Wand. So be sure to tune in for that next Monday. Monday will be our day to upload that series. So be looking for that. This is super fun to do with her. I'm really excited to keep doing that. We have lots and lots of stores in common. So we will not be stopping anytime soon. So that's gonna be a super fun thing to do in the summer. All right, I will talk to you next time.